We are standing at the eastern portion of Arkansas's world-famous Crater of Diamonds State Park. It's about 6 o'clock in the evening, and that's why the sun is over there in the west so strong right now. There's a lot of gravel drained down through here, and this would be a good place to scoop up gravel and look. Um, this area is called Fugit's Bank. And I've known friends that got in here and dug and found a lot of diamonds in this material. And if you'll look, there's hard pan right here. So any gravel sitting on top of this could be scooped up and you could find diamonds in that gravel. Another thing I want to point out, just because the state park has put up an arbitrary boundary here saying no diamond searching activities beyond this point. See, here's our their boundary marker. Well, it looks like people have, have dug <laughs> right up to it uh, and recovered diamonds from it. I've known guys that have dug over here and they've dug right up to this boundary marker, but you're not allowed to do anything past it. The unfortunate thing is the lamperite that has diamonds out here continues on up here past this boundary. And what I would like to see the park do change their boundary if they're going to have a boundary at all take these trees out they could make money hire a timber company to take them down and they can sell these trees sometimes these oaks when they get too old they just rot and die anyway but they ought to sell this timber remove the stumps plow this and incorporate this as part of the diamond search territory then when people come out of the visitor center and follow the sidewalk down to the Diamond Discovery Center, all these trees will be out of here and they will have a clear view of the diamond search field. And the search field is down slope from here and then it would give you more of a feeling that it's actually a crater rather than a flat plowed field. So, to make the Crater of Diamonds better, I would like to see the park change their search boundary, open this area up for digging that has never been opened up before, and let's see how many diamonds are in it.